like uh, the Ricker and Bond right now, dude. Uh, if you go over to to Ricker and Bond, dude, uh, you know on this on this <laughs> journey of, of billions of dollars and making a lot of jobs and making a lot of time for people, uh, you you're gonna want to pick a team, dude. And you know the correct team, dude. Wow, Team Raker, bro. <laughs> Damn. Well, little do you know, I also have a Team Bond, hat, <laughs> but I don't. It's if you go to Raker and Bond or Adobe House Live slash store, uh, there's a Raker and Bond Team Raker Team Bond hat, so you can really just really get tribal about it, you know? Yeah, you know, if you're a real fan, you'll give us money to prove it. God damn it! If you you know just you really like you're like yo dude. I like the black one more. Then you get a you get a team bond hat, you know. And if you, and if you want some unity, you're gonna have to get a shirt or like a sweatshirt. Look at this dude. And buy our Rick and Bond NFTs and then list them below the floor price <laughs> <laughs> immediately. I, NFTs, I bought a, I bought something recently. That was a NFT. I bought an NFT. Oh God, dude. Oh. I was holding a crypto. A shit coin and i don't know if i talked about it but it was low cap low supply and long story short i sold it too early sold it about five days early because a couple days ago they both shot up to six thousand dollars and i would have had 12 grand and now i don't it's a nice little pump and dump it was a it was a great pump and dump the fucking whales found it and they were shooting it to the moon and they were playing they were tossing it together and i was just watching all the fun from my fucking like cute little $300 profit sell. And I was like, wow, this is really disappointing. If I had, like, I knew it was going to happen. Why didn't I just listen to myself and be a little more patient? And now it's out of reach. And yeah. Why did you think you knew? Because it was, it was like really low supply, 10,000, like 10,000 coins. And the, the market cap was really low. It was like a million dollars. And there's a lot of shit coins with market caps of like 500 million. So if this had like even a 50X, a thousand dollars could turn into 50 grand, you know? But and, why would uh, you say that that particular token was going to do something? Well, it probably wasn't, but I've seen other coins that were like kind of similar do it. And this was like connected to like an NFT. So it was like kind of like, hype so i was like okay it's just a matter of time before like twitter or something finds this let me just grab a couple just in case and like every day it would fluctuate like hundreds of dollars so i was like okay just one fucking wealthy whale just like dump in 50 grand into this could like just shoot it up and it happened and i missed it shitcoins linked to nfts is really interesting because yeah. NFTs right now is just People are just with bags and bags are just shilling into it. That's interesting. And not financial sweet. advice for life, bro. I got some other news, Peter. Don't worry. Not financial advice, but if you go on Coin Market Cap and look up uh, low low market cap uh, NFT coins protocols, like that's like big money just being tossed around. It's just like a matter of time before wealthy people find it and shoot it to the moon and then pull out. You just gotta like. Hop, hop onto the fucking cart. Hold on and know when to jump off. You gotta. That's a solid. I like that research system. Um, yeah, and you've been on that for a minute too. Yeah, know. and I fuck. My theory was proved right, and I wasn't even part of it. But it's okay. I'll find another one. You just gotta do like a little bit of research because a lot of them are just like trash. You know, a lot of them are kind of like scammy, but some of them are like. Was the one you picked towards a a top ranking of anything? No, well, nah, no, nah, it's pretty unknown. It's called Oxmon, and it's still relatively like low market cap. It's like probably five or six million right now. So it could fucking, it could still shoot up like huge, but I don't really have the money to fucking grab on to it. But yeah, the, the NFT FOMO is kind of different. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy like 0. 0.1 of it and see what happens. I used to have two, dude. I used um... to have fucking two whole things, dude. Yeah, I mean, these things, like, does the NFT project have a wave going? 
kind of i noticed that gary v follows the project on twitter uh that's another thing too because gary v is like a fucking influencer in that space so anything he like tweets or like follows like people just flock to yeah. which yeah, is he, like he, pretty he went interesting crazy with those drawings dude it's he's insane. going so he's going so hard the drawings are complete shit but it doesn't matter it's the fucking thing you know, behind what it what i was thinking bro i mean it, it might have been like tangential and not super on purpose but i i wonder if his super like marketing of trading cards and stuff was for like an nft mania if he knew about nft technology and trading and was like yo this is super nascent right now and i'm gonna be talking about like trading cards or if he well, was he... super into trading cards already which is probably a thing but to to mesh those two together was smart because now he's he... like he's been like he like has like rookie cards of his v friends he what? has a video of him from like 2005 talking about nfts gonna are gonna happen oh really yeah, he's like, in the future, all this fucking hype shit, all this shit is going to be digitized. And when that happens, I'm going to jump on it. Oh, so he was just thinking about trading cards digitally. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, I think he said something like, I've only been excited three times in my life. The first time was when the internet started. The second time was when social media started. And the third time is when NFTs start. Interesting. My friend showed me a video of everything he owns. It's fucking ridiculous. He owns so much shit. Like, yeah. is he has so many companies that you like that aren't even like connected to his name? Gary V. Yeah, he just has like agencies for everything you can think of. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. There's like a YouTube video about a uh, family tree of his companies. Yeah, he's fucking. I always wanted because like I still because you you see this dude like hella hella and you're like yo what what do you make money off of dude like what do you what yeah do you he's like anything he has a slight interest in he's like okay I'm gonna hire experts in it to build it for other people solid yeah like oh you like coffee let me make a fucking coffee agency or something so it's basically like it's, it's agencies yeah yeah you know, let me make a company that helps people make x yeah interesting in charge of that premium yeah 